as Fulford going back to pass on a third and long. He steps up, going deep to Hill. He's wide open, caught by Justin Hill. Touchdown, Mount Union, and they are the first to strike against the Blue Jays. And someone missed their assignment there, Joe. Justin Hill was camped out, ready to roll on that right side, wide open. Makes the catch, and he could not be happier to have this many touches and getting the ball in his hands. He loves it. Fulford looked good. The offense looks good. And Mountain Union snags that first score of this big game. A 39-yard reception out of the junior from Circleville. The first to score here in the national semifinal. The yard line for the Blue Jays. Back to pass goes Tamaro. Tamaro looking towards right side. It's incomplete and intercepted by Trevor Cox. Cox is at the 25-30, and he is going to score at the 45. He's got to meet Walters. He's at the 20, 25. Touchdown, Mount Union. Trevor Cox goes all the way for the touchdown. Give him 95 yards as the Purple Raiders get a pick six out of the senior safety. Johns Hopkins into the shotgun. Fourth down and one. They send a player in a motion. That's Wellman. They'll hand it off to Walters. Walters, he's met right at the line of scrimmage and driven back by the Purple Raider defense. Ethan McComb, Mitch O'Hara in to make the stop, and the Purple Raiders able to cause a turnover on downs. Purple Raiders get the possession. Uh, not only are you not giving up an inch there, I think you took five yards back, and there were three different guys in on that tackle. Great job by the D-line. And that Hopkins O-line, I don't know if they were burnt out or what, Joe. They gave no help on that one. First down at 10, Tamaro, the lone man in the backfield. Three wide out sets to the left, to the right as they spread. Back to pass goes Tamaro. Here comes the pressure. Mitch O'Hara rips him in the backfield. Mitch O'Hara, the sophomore out of St. Edward High School, able to get the sack. That's an 11-yard loss for Tamaro. On that one, Joe, the Raiders stack the box. They have a lot of guys lined up, ready to roll. Stuart Walters, the sidecar to the left side, ball on the left hash. Snap is taken by Tamaro. Back to pass. Here comes the pressure. And he is taken down in the backfield by Ethan McComb and Nate Brunson. The second sack of the afternoon for Mount Union. And that brings up a huge fourth down. Great job on the blitz there on the big play. Like I said, these third downs have been so tough for him. Brunson stays high, Joe. Keeps his arms up and makes it difficult from Tamaro to even try and make a throw. Second down and three, back to pass goes Fulford. He's going to lob it deep to Lucas Harrington. It's caught by Harrington at the 45-yard line. He hauled it in over a Johns Hopkins Blue Jay. In the third quarter, Mount Union up 14-6. They're driving here on the Blue Jays. Back to pass Fulford. Fulford over the middle of Fernaro. Fernaro has it in, 20, 15, and finally taken down inside the 15-yard line. Joe Fernaro coming up with a huge grab, the 5'11", 250-pound fullback. And he got up, Joe. That was probably the most athletic play he'll make. And we remember he caught a couple of touchdowns last year. And Fulford, I mean, he had to be very careful. Float it, but don't put it too high. Fernaro gets up. All at the 14, Fulford back to pass. He's going to lob it up the hill. Hill's got it. He hauled it in. Touchdown, Mount Union. Justin Hill, 14-yard touchdown reception in the corner of the end zone. Mount Union takes a 20-6 lead. Unbelievable, he throws it off that left side. Hill leads him with his foot, stays in on him. And we've seen that play a couple times this year. Justin Hill, a huge touchdown, his second today. This defense has made plays throughout the entire season, the entire season. clutch and clutch over and over again. Sticking down at 10. Tamaro, here comes the pressure. He throws while he's hit. It's lobbed up. Intercepted by Gabe Brown. Gabe Brown at the 45, 50, 40, 35, 30. See you later, Johns Hopkins. Gabe Brown goes all the way for the score as the Purple Raiders get a two-possession lead. Oh, you called it, Joe, right before. Clutch plays over and over again. Lou Berry on the blitz, ball is roasting in the air. Whoever wanted it can grab it. Gabe Brown, beautiful job in the clutch. Fulford will take the final knee, and that'll do it. Billy, get your suitcase ready. We're heading to Shenandoah, Texas for Stag Bowl 46. Mount Union comes away with a 28 to 20 victory over the Johns Hopkins Blue Jays. Mount Union moving on.